Well, you may have seen some red bus lane in downtown Portland like this. It was unveiled back in October. Now the city is working on a program to expand these lanes and cut back on traffic delays and long commutes. Fox 12's Kendra Kent is live tonight in downtown Portland to explain. Kendra. Well, Nor, those TriMet buses get stuck in traffic just like the rest of us with the Portland Bureau of Transportation, like you mentioned, is considering expanding lanes just for those buses. We're standing by uh, this red lane right here at Southwest Main and First. And Peabot says that by giving them more of their own lanes throughout key areas of Portland, they will that will make it a shorter commute for everyone who takes public transportation across the metro area. The wheels on the bus are slowing down in Portland as commuters spend increased time idling in clogged streets during rush hours. Uh, just shy of an hour between the two lines. But the city hopes a new program will speed things back up and reduce delays for TriMet buses and the Portland streetcar and subsequently encourage more people to take public transportation. It's called the Rose Lane Project and if implemented, you would see more red colored bus only lanes through various key blocks and stretches of the city. Other options include adding bus only lanes to intersections that would allow buses to cut ahead of other drivers at lights and also expanding new technology that alerts traffic signals to turn green when a bus is waiting to pass through. Mark McClure takes two different buses to get to work and also rides on the weekends. Well, I'm, I'm static. <laughs> I'm very pleased and like I said, I, I think uh, I think we, this is way overdue. Uh, I'll be honest, as I'm, as I'm aging, I find that I, I don't feel as comfortable behind the wheel. But change comes with a price, and there's plenty of people concerned. Nancy Chapman works with the Hawthorne Boulevard Business Association. You worry about, are they going to take away parking lanes? And if so, that hurts a district that has a lot of small businesses. Officials say it's very likely street parking would be eliminated or reduced to specific hours in some areas. Other traffic changes could include moving or reconfiguring crosswalks and bike lanes. And by giving buses priority, drivers in their own ride can expect to spend even more time in traffic. The give and take is something transportation leaders say they'll monitor and study closely during pilot projects they hope to roll out with the new year. And the Portland Bureau of Transportation does plan to present these pilot projects before City Council in February. They hope that uh, these pilot projects will go in place in 2020 as well as 2021. Now, meanwhile, they are still seeking your feedback. If you want to weigh in on some of these proposed locations or make comments, there is a survey online, and we're going to post a link in the online version of this story at kptv.com. For now, reporting live in downtown Portland, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.